Grill some fish on the barbecue, place it in some tacos. It's going to be really, really fresh, perfect for the summer. Incredible fish tacos on iFoods. So to make these wonderful fish tacos, the first thing that I've got is some lobster. Now I've just cut them straight down the middle on a chopping board down in the kitchen. If you're not comfortable doing that, get your fishmonger to do it. He'll do it and then bring it straight home. And it's very important with lobster that you cook it really, really fresh. Using a little spoon, we're going to take out his innards. Just with, like that, nice and simple. And what we're left with then is the nice fleshy part of the tail. Now the marinade for this is really, really simple. We're going to start off with some nice sliced onions. Now the fish is all really nice and fresh, so you don't really need to do much with it. I'm just going to put some jalapenos for a nice little bit of bite, because I really like that on the barbecue. Some olive oil, so just to help it not stick. A little bit of lime juice, which will complement all those fishes fantastically. And some just roughly crushed garlic. It's basically, like I said, a very, very simple marinade. There's no point of overcomplicating barbecued fish. Just mix that up together. And what we're going to do, starting with our lobster, is just spoon a little bit of that over the top. And it's very important that you do this about 15 minutes before cooking. It won't take long for that marinade to penetrate down into the lobster. And it'll give it a nice little fresh kick. Now the next fish that I have to put my marinade on is the swordfish. As it says in the recipe, use whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever is available. I'm also going to place my prawns onto that little plate. And just sprinkle them with a little bit of the marinade as well. Now I'm going to put all that fish back into the fridge and leave it for about 15 minutes just for it to soak in that marinade and make sure my barbecue is nice and hot and ready to go. So I've brought the fish back out from the fridge and what I'm going to start with is the lobster. It's obviously a little bit thicker than everything else. There's a lot more flesh on there so it's going to take just that little bit longer to cook. So just lay them down and with the half lobster I'm going to go flesh side down first. And I reckon they'll take a total of about eight minutes to cook. They really are looking fantastic. And when they've got about three or four minutes to go, we're going to start cooking our nice swordfish. Also very important that beforehand you've made all your little salsas and your refried beans to go along because you won't have time once this fish starts cooking. But we'll talk more about that in a second. So those lobsters have been on that side now for about three minutes. And you can see that it's really starting to cook up nicely and perhaps take on that colour that we all associate with lobster. Now what I'm going to do is just push that to the back and let that cook slowly and let that continue cooking. Now the next thing to go on is our fish. Now with this it's quite important that you sort of get the timing right. The lobster is going to take quite a long time, the fish is going to be in the middle and then the prawns obviously very quick at the end. So our lobster is about four or five minutes off, on goes our fish. Just make sure you spoon a little bit on top. I'm also going to just pour a little bit more marinade into those lobsters. They really are looking absolutely fantastic, full of juice, and they're going to be really, really tasty by the time they're finished. So with the fish, I'm going to give it about two minutes on that side, flip it over, another two minutes on the other side, you should have absolutely perfect fish by then. So now's a perfect time to just get a little bit of that Malden sea salt on both your lobster and your nice fish. That's going to give it a nice crunch and a really nice texture. So we'll just flip that fish over. Oh, that's smelling absolutely incredible. I'm going to pour on a little bit of the extra marinade onto the other side. And because the lobster's now nearly cooked, the fish is coming along really nicely and only has another two minutes on that side. Perfect time to get our lovely little prawns on. They're going to take such a small amount of time to cook. So very carefully just place them on there. They're really starting to look like a fantastic fish feast. Pour any of that little extra marinade you have over the top. And I'd say we're literally only 
about a minute or two away now. We'll flip those prawns, the lobster's coming along perfectly, the fish is cooked, what a feast. So I think my fish is just about cooked now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer it across onto my chopping board. The lobster is also looking absolutely delicious and I can just feel that it really is perfectly cooked and the little prawns nice and tender. Very important not to cook those for too long. If your barbecue is nice and hot they're literally going to take a couple of minutes. Now that all our fish is ready we can start preparing it, slicing it up and getting it ready for our lovely tacos. So the first thing we do is our swordfish. I'm just going to slice it into nice thin pieces like that. Okay so to take the lobster out of the shell just use a little spoon and make sure you get out every last piece of meat because as we know lobster ain't cheap and it certainly tastes really really good. Up here you'll also find a little bit of meat in there so just scrape all of that out and we're also going to slice that up just roughly. I'm doing my best not to just eat that all now because it really does smell so so good but we'll wait and make sure we put it into our tacos. With the claw of the lobster you're going to have to play around a little bit but just basically like that break it off and out will come your meat. Again using your spoon get every last piece of that claw and then just look inside and see what you can find. There's a few little pieces in there as they come. We'll do that with the other claw and the other tail and that's how you prepare a lobster for your nice tacos. So that's all our nice meats ready. Now the last thing we have to do before making our tacos is just heat up our tortillas. It's only going to take about seven or eight seconds on each side and it's really really simple. You just want to soften them up. So there we go. Now just using your hands or a pair of tongs flip it over to the other side. We'll heat them all up. We'll keep them nice and warm in a little cloth and then we'll be ready to make our lovely tacos. So to make our tacos we're just going to use our tortillas which are nice and soft and pliable. Now that we've heated them on the barbecue I'm going to start with a little bit of refried beans. Now if you're not sure how to make those refried beans just go and have a little look at our beef taco recipe and you'll see it on there. Very important to have all those things made up beforehand. A little bit of salsa. Again, if you're not sure how to make that, check our recipe with guacamole and salsa. Guacamole would work perfectly well in this little taco as well. I'm going to pop a little bit of red onion in there. Some nice fresh coriander. Give it a nice vibrant kick to it. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of swordfish in this one. And I might go with a little bit of that lovely lobster as well. Look at that. That really is going to be a special treat. So just grabbing the end of it, we're going to roll it up like a cigar. And that's it. Ready to eat. There's nothing fancy about it. It's really simple. It's wholesome. You eat it on the barbecue. And I'm going to try it. I can tell by looking at it. It tastes delicious.